What's smashing y'all? Today I'm going to talk to you about the kick dashboard. We're going to go over it and I'm going to show you how to set up your stream so you can go live. So let's talk about it. First things first, you got to go to kick.com. After you make a profile and you sign in, once you're here, just go click on your icon on the top right hand side. You click on it and click on create a dashboard. Now here is the meat and juices of your stream. All right. When you go to the top, it's pretty dope because everything that's up here matches a panel that's down below. And if you click it, it has that panel. So see, you have session info, session info, stream preview, stream preview, activity feed, activity feed, mod actions, mod actions, and chat and chat. So all I have to do right here, if I don't want to see my stats, if I don't want to see how long I've been live, if I don't want to see how many people are watching me, I can hide my session info. So I don't have to see that. If you don't want to focus on the numbers and you just want to go live and not worry about who's watching you, <clears throat> click the session info. I'll hide those numbers for you. You'll be a little more confident playing and not worried about the numbers that are popping up. By the way, this is the What's Smashing Web Show. It comes out every Friday, 9 o'clock in the morning on YouTube exclusively. I make content creation for content creators that want to make their content better or walkthroughs so you can figure out how to get your stuff together. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button. Anyways, back to this. So it's pretty dope because when you click on it, you can hide certain things. I don't have that many mods, so I'll hide my mod actions. I have my chat, my preview, and my activity feed. Usually when I go live, that's what I use, but I don't mind the session information either. The dope thing about this on kick, when you go to your right-hand side, this is where you can edit your stream info. When you come in here, the last thing I played was Apex Ranked with uh, Randy's. <laughs> Uh, the category is the game, but you know, uh, kick is not just about game. You could just chat. You can do so many different things. So if I come in here and I put just chat, say you don't want to play, say you're tired of playing, having the controller in your hand and you just want to chat. You go to just chat and chill. If you want to play apex, it's there in the category. Apex legends, apex legends, mobile, and it even gives you an option, uh, for tags, which will be coming soon. Uh, your language, if you prefer it. An 18 plus audience. I'm a veteran and my mouth isn't always that great. So when I stream, I keep it 18 plus. Um, it's up to you and what type of audience you want to target. But I'm pretty sure if you can't control your mouth and you're playing some gory games, I recommend 18 plus. If not, maybe you keep it off. Just be weary. So the dope part about this is you can host a channel from here too while you're streaming. At the end of your stream, if you have five plus views, you can hit host channel. And it'll let you raid somebody, which is pretty dope. Uh, you can have follower only chat, slow mo, subscriber only chat, emails only chat, block terms, and create a dashboard. I'm gonna show you my block terms because that's where you put the no no words that you don't want people to say in chat. And if I opened it up, I'm pretty sure I'll get banned like everywhere. <laughs> but you have to sit there and take advantage of these tools that are at your feet. Um, Kick's been integrating. This dashboard isn't that old. It's actually kind of sort of brand new. And it looks beautiful. And you can tell that they're working on it. And Kick is putting in the effort. And I totally think it's worth it. Now, after going through all that, you're like, wait, Smash, you show me how to do all this stuff for my stream. You show me the activity feed. You show me a session information. You show me my chat. You show me all the things I can do on Kick. But how do I go live? Well, you know what? I'll show you that too. <laughs> let's go and even though we want everything on the right don't forget about the stuff on your left once you're an affiliate you can check out your revenue here uh once you have achievements this is your path to affiliate and then your path to get verified it'll show you your achievements here when you click on it build a community and then i stream 55 hours in the past 30 days uh 13 days out of 30 so it's pretty consistent it shows you what you need it shows you each step of the way each step of the way uh, community, your chat settings, your moderator, your badges, and your emotes. Um, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And then, of course, the settings where I show you where you can find your profile, your stream key. When you watch this, please, your stream key is important. If you show anyone your stream key and they have the ability to copy it, they can literally stream on your channel as you. So please don't share your stream key with anybody. With anybody. Please. Thank you. Okay, so for your stream key to go live, you go down to settings. I'll show you mine because it cover it, which is pretty dope. It's only going to show you my server. So let's hit on stream key. So here we are at our stream key and it shows you my stream URL, right? 
and then it shows you my stream key. The stream key is your access to it. It's the way that your computer, your OBS, contacts, kick, and puts your stream on there. You need this. Please don't share with no one. And the dope thing about kick is they actually motivate you to multi-stream. If you never heard about Restream.io, I made a video about that too. And if you're on kick and you're not affiliated, or actually, even if you are, they don't restrict you to only streaming on one platform. So I definitely recommend Restream. Currently, I'm doing kicking YouTube. They'll seem to be my current two front runners and my favorite. But if you get the premium for Restream, you go up to like four places at once. So check it out. But so you have the Restream here and your stream key, right? So what I'm gonna do is open my settings in OBS. I open my settings in OBS and I go down to stream. When you wanna stream on kick, since kick isn't integrated in this thing right here right now, you hit custom. You take this first one, you copy it, and you put it in your server. Sorry. You put it in your server. Paste. And that actually is my stream key, so I'm not gonna go over it. Uh, but I'll just press apply and okay. And after that, you go back to your stream, you edit your stream info, you put what you wanna put, and you go into your OBS, and you press start stream. That should be as easy as it is. So I just wanted to go over this real quick because I know a lot of controversy is going on with Twitch at the moment, and a lot of people are making that move to kick. It's not that hard to set it up, and I hope I helped you out in so many ways. Um, this is the What's Smashing Web Show. It comes out every Friday, nine o'clock Eastern on YouTube exclusively. And I'm just a content creator making content for other content creators to help them make their content better. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button. And as always, as always, as always, I hope you guys have a smashing day. I'm your boy Smash, and I'll see you next Friday. Peace. I'm out.